Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, this is this is Tom Carhill and Luke McKee. It's nine thirty one GMT plus one on Tuesday, the second of May, twenty seventeen. Um, got some interesting news, haven't we, Luke? Oh yeah. There's a bit of an annoying hum in the background, but there's nothing we can do about that. Oh, that, that that's that's me. I can uh, I can mute my end when you're talking, which I'll do. So uh, the story is that uh, Gary Byrne has announced that he can give legal advice, which is illegal if you're not a lawyer, and he's been asked to do it So, uh, by his lawyers that handle him, <laughs> that, uh, so he can be uh, you know, not taken out and killed because he's, he's going to have a bench warrant on, on March the 11th to investigate an incident where he sent his penis picture to an underage Craigslist uh, Melbourne child prostitute requesting bareback sex whilst being a member of a large number of AIDS survivors groups on Facebook and that there's no defence against wanting to do bareback sex when you know you have AIDS and that's 25 years jail for grievous bodily harm or 10 years jail for willfully spreading the AIDS virus. So do you, do you think that um, this situation that's going on now, do you think it's going to bring out all of the other more Dirty stuff about him's going to come out as well. Well, that's why. That's why he's been uh, asked by his lawyers that handle him. If you look, are you looking at my screen now? Yeah. Yeah. See, his own lawyers call um, call themselves coach to Gary. They are his coach, and he does everything. Um, oh, he's basically a patsy for the public interest advocacy centre. Now, previously, oh, if you look at Gary's latest blog post, he says, uh, "I'm an experienced anti-discrimination." Campaigner under this act, amended by you know Clover Moore, the O's Ghost, Planet Pedophile Cults, Operative Dr. Gregory Johnson in 1993. He worked with the staff of Clover Moore, and uh, he's going to defend the OCO in the High Court of Australia. An interview that I exposed with, uh, with, your, with, your, with, your, with your great friend, is a scholar from 911 Scholars for Truth. Right, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, Look here, Gary Burns not a lawyer, but is happy to provide legal advice to members of the public who have been there, who believe they've been unlawfully discriminated against. And, you know, he's had his complaint substantiated in a tribunal with a stacked panel of gay activist judges. And, uh, you know, why pay thousands of dollars for a lawyer when Gary Burns can provide legal advice and seek leave to represent you in the tribunal without requiring a solicitor, which is criminal. If you go to law society, you, 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 you know, the law society should prosecute Gary Birds for this blog post alone. But what has happened is own lawyers have put him up to do this, knowing it's legal, because they just want him to find a replacement for him, because, you know, this, this patsy has served his useful life. Oh, uh, what, and they think that's the least, least cause of damage to get rid of him, just saying he was got a bit confused about what he was allowed to do and what he wasn't, so then it won't come down on any of the more important stuff. Uh, the problem is, is if Gary Burns is a convicted pedophile, then all the case law saying that Gary Burns must be respected, saying to vilify him is to vilify all homosexuals, that case law becomes, you must respect homosexuals who are pedophiles, and then down goes all the homosexual vilification case law from Burns versus Dye and St. Holbert's calling it 2006. Now, um, Gary Burns' lawyer... The Inner City Legal Centre and PIAC, their operative, Gemma Namely, is representing him on behalf of the New South Wales Crown Solicitor in the uh, High Court of Australia uh, next month. I could actually show the High Court documents, but I've already done that in my interview with Mr. Medford, one of them at least. Um, so, you know, here he is, he's doing, he's lately doing a crime on his blog, but he's looking for lawyers that are getting, using his contacts to help him find his replacement. So he can be nonsense killed off because there's no way in hell. That, you know, the great news now is Johnson Holes has got legal representation from the Australian Christian Lobby, and uh, the shit's really hit the fan for Gary Burns. Johnson Holes is going after the teeth of the most experienced human rights lawyers there are, and they're going to be exposing Gary Burns, uh, you know, alleged sex crimes uh, very shortly. So Gary Burns, you get after uh, once the bench, once the uh, judges are being petitioned for bench warrants. 
has our interests at Yarry Birds. Doesn't he wants to kill off because we want to see him stand trial for his sex crime and all of his homosexual vilification case law to go down the toilet where it belongs. Oh, what? But if he gets killed, it won't go down the toilet because he's kind of not able to defend well, you can't himself. You can't, it's more difficult to prosecute a dead person for sex crime. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so they talking about before the show about what happens in those cases where there's a secret the secret arbitration courts that pay victims hush money to from insurance claims if they're being child raped rather than having a public proceeding to the victim compensation fund. It's all done secretly in Australia. And uh, the judge involved in representing Gary uh, ruling in favour of Gary Burns, uh, who also ruled that children must enjoy their child sex. What Alexander John Alexander Wakefield is that? Alexander John Robert Oscar Lopez, who gave the main uh, evidence in the, in the US Supreme Court gay marriage in the case of a hate criminal because he complained publicly about being raped in 1984. And if you, if you link to his writing, you are a hate criminal too. And Johnson Hall linked to my YouTube channel, which linked to his writing. So by two degrees of separation, Johnson Hall is a hate criminal for linking, linking by one hop away from Robert Oscar Lopez, PhD, who didn't enjoy his child rape. And therefore, if you don't enjoy his gay child rape, you are a hate criminal for not enjoying the sodomy you leave as a child against your will when you were raped. So, so see that, that case there, right, um, what, they, is, is that, what, what was that, that was in America, right, yeah? Well, the case is Burns vs. Radio, the CUE one, right, which you think is a great victory. He took the case for it. It wasn't, it wasn't him doing the case. It was a public interest advocacy center. I just went to Google, right, and typed, um, Got, uh, I, I found I found this one here. Now Gary Burns, you know, was you know represented by public interest. The lawyers, the pro bono lawyers for the OTO satanic pedophile cult, um, and the case was lodged under a fake name. He's never had under his driver's license. Gary Burns. Oh right, with with one R. Yeah, and this so guy Dominic O'Grady up. moved to the Australian Human Rights Commission that that, 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 that allowed uh, anti-fraud top officers in Australia. Uh, Alexander Golan to do public speaking at their events on a, on a panel of guests before he was arrested for little boy child sex porn. But that's another story. Um, so here we go. We've got, you know, um, you've got Chris Ronalds SC represented Gary Burns, right? And then Chris Ronalds SC is later representing Jeff Pennant against Gary Burns. <laughs> oh, what in a managed, a managed, a managed case, so that they get yes. get the desired and outcome. Jeff, as a result, Jeff Kennett gave all the money he gets from uh, Beyond Blue Charity for mental health to a new program that PAC runs. Uh, so, if, when you give money to Beyond Blue Mental Health uh, Society, as the government uh, recently made a victim support fund to do after a false flag Muslim terrorist attack in uh, in Melbourne that had the guy waving to the cameras were talking about a murder he just did before he drove his car through the main street of the mall in Melbourne and killed, killed 20 people and ran, ran over a baby and killed a baby. He was waving with a big smile on his face like it was some, like, like it was some false flag before, before that went down. And then the government uh, said that uh, Beyond Blue needs to get all the money for the donations for people who care about the victims and they give half that money to the lawyers who represent the, the satanic pedophile cult right, yeah. for a donor, which is PIAC, but also worked for Gary. And um, Jeff Kennett was sued by Gary Burns and had Chris Ronalds, the, the, a PIAC lawyer, representing him. And uh, generally barristers can't work against their own former clients. So PIAC was her former client and hired her to represent Gary Burns previously, as you see here. If you do a search for uh, Chris Ronalds, I'll just not make this up, the main thing is Chris Ronalds, uh, and Jeff Kennett. Uh, okay. This can all be checked, and, and Jeff Kennett's another pedo, isn't he? Um, now here we go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to find the uh, gay activist launch. Now, here we are. Oh, this is mainstream news from the Daily Telegraph, right? You've got uh, Chris Ronalds. Okay. Chris, Mr. Kennett's lawyer, Chris Ronalds, is it? You see, it's right there in the mainstream news from the Daily Telegraph. We're not, we're not talking. Right. <coughs> so, is it strange that barristers can switch sides and work against their old clients? This is, this is not this is illegal, right there. Isn't it? So, there's lots of corruption involving these, these pedos. So, 
Let's have a look at Gary Burns. Didn't didn't Kenny get done for being a pedo though? Isn't he? Isn't he a pedo? Uh, he has been done for being a pedo. He was named as a pedophile in the uh, Leg and Divine dossier case. Right. Um, and my dad just sent me an old an old blog post like about the OTO. Um, you know, uh, the, uh, if you look here, this document. There's an old old blog post in 2005. Rena Nicholson went all the way to in you know, trying to expose a Mornington child care centre being managed by the OTO, being involved in uh, massive child sex scandals uh, in 2004, and her dossier got leaked. And her dossier accurately, accurately predicted that uh, Channel 10 had a gay child pedophile, uh, pedophile ring in it. Yeah, listen, and, listen, this is one thing just to clear Jeff, up. Yeah. Jeff Kennett was named as a pedophile in that document. Now, um, if you look here, same child care centre that the OTO operates, they're getting their children to do satanic art, you know. Are you seeing this? Are they bragging about it as well? Yeah, yeah, the same, the same child care centre that Dr. Rita Mickelson, young Australian of the year award winner, was sued because her dossier got leaked, which accurately predicted that there was a, there was a pedophile ring in uh, Channel 10. And I think it was Jerry, Mc, uh, Mr. McHugh, the guy, the guy that was the actor on the AB series of his gayness um, was done for being a gay pedophile and a couple of others in Channel 10 and um, yeah Gary Burns yeah, that's how we found the cycles of Pony page because Gary Burns was saying those blog posts were homophobic even though that the gay pedophiles got convicted right 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 yeah so um, you know, this is you know, this is the like, OTO art everywhere you know Alex Crowley 666 whatever uh, but this it's one of the old blog posts I put out. So you know. is, 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 is Bottrell, is David Bottrell the head of the um, uh, DIAC? Is it the DIAC or is it another department? He's, he's head of the infamous 457 visa section that displaces Australian jobs. And the BBC is just in a documentary about how great his department is, allowing uh, any people for his department fast-track English people that want to come to Australia and take our jobs if their job is in so-called high demand. Previously, hairdressers were in high demand. Yeah, just like absolutely fucking anybody. Yep. So, yeah. let's, why do you have a read of what Gary Burns himself wrote? Now, you, you see, you say, you've got PIAC on their website. Now, they've previously taken down the OW and OV versus Wesley City Mission case, where two gay men walked into a church and said, We do sodomy, give us the free baby flesh now. Don't hate, don't discriminate. And that court case went on for 10 years and it didn't end until Wesley City Mission hired a PIAC lawyer to make it go away, which was Kate Eastman, also works for PIAC. You understand? Again, you've got PIAC lawyers on both sides of the debate, PIAC barristers. And Kate Eastman also worked on this case, um, another Burns case. I think it's Burns versus um, Dyer, I think. I have to check my record. You know, let's, let's go. Let's go. No, I do have the original of this backed up somewhere. I saw it just the other day. Uh, let's go find Sharon's blog. It's funny, Eastman. I know a, high, a bent high court judge called Eastman. Now, um, in England. Now, you know, this is uh, this is some research about how Jeff Kennett is linked to, um, you know, linked to this stuff. Um, now, um, so what we're looking for is uh, just do a search for it now. I find it up. I'll find it again. Young. Young boy in Western Sydney, this is Gary Burns. I mean, it's very strange, very specific talk, you know, how a young boy appreciates his gay activism. You know, how many young boys are thinking about gay sex and not um, not their homework? I don't know. But look, this, I, this is a verbatim quote from Gary Burns since being deleted. Um, and it was, I've got a link to where I got it from here. Uh, here a second here. Can, can you read from uh, this here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My monumental battle with Radio 2 U, UE and its presenters Steve Price and John Laws has finally come to an end. The case has nearly gone on as long as the Second World War. I instigated this action way back in 2003 because I was tired of my sexuality being used as a football for ridicule by the intolerable folk. I'm a gay man. Gay men should not mirror the image as perverted and dirty in society through ridicule. I have always cared about my community, 
but I feel very sad that my community abandoned me during this litigation. I don't know who he means by his community there, you know. Does well, he mean he, the... He's doing, he's doing blog posts about the AIDS Council of New South Wales. They try and educate gays. They don't have the right to request bareback sex for teenagers like Gary does when you have the AIDS virus. Um, he, he, Gary Burns put in his blog, uh, a blog post confirmed ACON users, uh, confirmed pedophiles use ACON facilities. So he's busy calling the, the, all the other people in the gay lobby that don't agree with him, a bunch of pedophiles, like he called all Christian pedophiles. He even said anyone who drinks Gloria Jean's coffee is a kiddie fiddler because it was once owned by a Christian. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 uh, for anyone who doesn't know about Gary Burns, um, we should probably get a picture up. There's one of him looking particularly like like the world's biggest pedo. There's a picture of him with the Melbourne Cup. That's actually a very, very good picture. It tells a thousand more. But he calls everybody a pedo. He just calls everybody a kitty fiddler or a pedo. Uh, no, nah, not that one. That's that one's not as good. He doesn't. You can't see that he hasn't got a chin on that one. The one where he hasn't got a chin at all. It's just like, and he's got the Melbourne Cup. If it's not about foreskins or um, or assholes, he's not going to put it on his blog, is he? Unless it's something like saying that sodomy is um, shouldn't be associated with homosexuals because it vilifies them and it's disgusting. And then people leak out his emails of him organising to go and sodomise children <laughs> that he meets on the internet. He's absolutely crazy. Yeah, so um, because of those leaked emails, um, if, you, if you go to Johnson or the blog spot, like He's openly bragging that the police got got special access to the police computer system, got access to use a fake name in criminal proceedings, and just had police do cyber crimes, uh, deleting all of John's email and updating John's blog to say, I like donkey dick, it takes nice. The police took John's mobile phone, Samsung Galaxy tablet. So you know which police station put this out then, yeah? So doesn't it strike you a little bit weird how, um, I mean, why would they get on there and pretend to be him? Because it's so obvious it's going to get found out about. Well, they think they have impunity to get away with it. Now, 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 now they're going to find out the hard way that uh, Google thinks the pen is subpoenaed by the Australian Christian Lobby's legal front. And so is OptusNet. And there's any court orders and um, private prosecutions of the corrupt police getting Catherine Burns' uh, favourite pedophile. 
saw my videos of Gary Burns saying the great sodomizer and murder went online. What a great woman police him in. He loves man, gay men who threaten to rape him by name. She's a beacon of uh, she's Australia's uh, Telstra Young Business, Telstra Businesswoman of the Year Award. But uh, you were saying you don't believe Catherine Burns is actually a woman, uh, biologically speaking. Would you like to tell us a bit more on that? Oh, it just occurred to me, um, somebody I used to know, I don't, he's gone a bit mad now, but Greg Hallett used to always say some of the New Zealand MPs, he didn't reckon they were like, he reckoned none of them were sexually normal, he said, none of them. And um, there was quite a few of them, he said, I don't even think that, there's quite a lot of them are women, and they don't look like women, they look like sort of, you know, decrepit old men. And um, it just occurs to me, you know, New Zealand, Australia are very closely linked, aren't they? And with her, she doesn't... I mean, she could be a woman, but she sort of, at the same time, she does, she's she's not a normal-looking person, is she? She could have XY chromosomes of a male, but still have the, have the private parts of a woman, i.e. androgenic and, Yeah, an androge- androgen-insensitive one. Yeah, yeah, it could be something like that. But yeah, because, I, I, again, that was one thing that seems to crop up, is a lot of these really evil, odd people, well, aside being Jewish, they're often... It's almost like they don't have a normal life cycle because a normal person, generally speaking, you know, you know, hooks up with a, another person and has children and stuff, and they've got normal things to concern themselves with. But these weirdos will literally spend their entire time wanting to legalise paedophilia, and it just seems really odd. Do you see what I mean? Gary Burns uh, saying, I'm a lawyer, I give legal advice, I can represent you, I have special leave to do that. When Tess Corbett tried to speak for John Snow as an advocate and they refused, and, and she just won a high court, she just won a New South Wales Supreme Court case against the anti discrimination scum, and all the anti discrimination board officers took a day off work to come to the Supreme Court, and Tess Corbett said, I, I, you know, I'm putting you out of a job. The same thing that Luke said to me, myself, said to them a few months before. <laughs> Yeah, but to be fair, though, Luke, I mean, we thought he's going to get killed off numerous times. Well, now, 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 now is definitely the time to see him killed off. I mean, yeah, but the thing is, I've been, I've been using my Mossad do your job hashtag about Ian Puddock. You would have think they would have, the Jews would have killed him by now, but they haven't, have they? Because he, Gary Burns is even more of an embarrassment to. Yeah, but I don't really see how that works. I mean, I know it's true, but how does it work? Because in the Jewish religion, you know, it's meant to be not allowed. So oh, well, they allow these subversive the ones. I, I don't know, as long as he's overnight. And then you've got, um, who's, who, who led the Sydney gay, gay Mardi Gras um, in 2011? And that would be Peter Batchel, who published a book, he's a, he's a Jew, who published a book saying sex for nine-year-old boys bring joy. Have you got any evidence he's a Jew? Because I, I always assumed he was one. But he's never, I don't think he's ever said he is one. He's obsessed with the, with the, with the great King Triangle Holocaust. The logo that the New South Wales police proudly wear, designed by the Waffen SS to designate gays who must die in Nazi death camps, if you believe that narrative. So all these, the, 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 everyone has to accept the New South Wales police wear Nazi with regalia with pride, or you are all their Holocaust denied. 
Right. So, so do you think now? Do you think that we've got enough evidence to safely presume that um, Gary Burns is a Jew because he's constantly going on about foreskin like his other Jewish well, pedo mates? We have. We have him doing the bidding of the OTR of the High Court, and we have David Bottrell doing the bidding of the Australian Executive Council of Jury. Do you want to see this? Um, okay. I mean, this is this is classified. I see. This will, this, this will get David Bottrell very pissed off, and may get my friends pissed off. This is like, like to see that show an email from David Bottrell of him ordering content censored that the Australian Executive Council of Jury tried to get deleted from the Love for Life blog earlier. That he's saying because I, I the religion of satanic child sex, child sex, a break the break off of a Jewish Franklinism cult. Um, Frank, Franklinism, Jacobins, Illuminati, OTO, it's all the, it's all comes from the same origin. The, the Jews in the 1600s believed that uh, there's no way we can make our Messiah who's never come yet, his name isn't Jesus, uh, come back. Uh, by, because we can never be good enough for you know for the Messiah to make the Messiah worthy of coming back. Right, right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what well, are you... you... put it on my blog and I keep taking it down six times now. You want to read, you want to read the quotes from the, 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 the Kabbalah about that? Are you sure it's not the Talmud? Uh, no, it's the, it's the Talmud for that one. Yeah. Read you want to read the quotes to prove it not being doing hate speech? Um, I suppose you could. One of them says they were in court, one of them says they never even got to go to court. The judge said they were in court, but read, read the highlighted text from his court. Right, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. What, but instead of returning the next morning, they fled to their New South Wales home until their arrest and jailing for contempt last month. The couple's lawyer, Simon, Simon Mog, Moglia, told the tribunal yesterday... The couple had been financially ruined and had fled the tribunal in November because they had realised they had made a mistake <laughs> by not complying well, with its what? order. Well, guess what? The Supreme Court of New South Wales Court of Appeals ruled that what they were saying to the DCAT tribunal was correct. You have no frigging jurisdiction over New South Wales citizens for a law that doesn't exist. There's been a constitutional judgment confirming them right. They should have never been arrested and raped in jail and thrown in jail without being in court, in person, for the, all the proceedings as per the Victorian Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities Act that the people who do the prosecution of are offering training search seminars for $333 for a half day to tell government employees how to obey the law that they throw to Satan. And then they put on their... Um, they put on their, uh, they've taken it down. Oh, they've taken it down. Finally, the, the bastards. They've taken it down. Let me just try this one. Have they taken, oh, shit. Okay, they've just taken it down, finally, as I was sending it around. Uh, this just shows you the enemy is reading my correspondence, right? So, um, here, let me just try this one here. They've taken this one down, too. This used to be on their website. Okay, this, this is still up, right? Okay. Document they took off their website, right? If I try and down 
download it. Okay, I download it. It's zero byte word file. You can't even download, okay? You can try and do it too. Tinyurl.com slash bcat pedophile. In this document, uh, let me just do, uh, get the file name. Um, now, I sent this email out to all the members of, uh, all the members of the uh, ACT Parliament recently when they deleted it. Now, um, so let me just find, uh, let me just find something here. Okay, now, I, I attached a document to this email. This is David Boxall going to the High Court of Australia. Uh, David Boxall suing Johnson Hall, oh, okay? Right, yeah. This is, uh, this, is the, this is the High Court of Australia case, the Crown Court. This is all the High Court case names here, okay? And this is the document that was on their website for last So week. do that share screen thing again, because um, I've, 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 I've sort of pressed something and it's gone. Yeah, yeah, I've got it again now. Now, this is the David Bothell suing Johnson Hole for not respecting the religion of uh, Jewish child sex and boy murder. Uh, this is the High Court case proving it's going to the High Court. Okay. Right, yeah. The case that says the BCAT tribunal had no right to kidnap Lincoln and divide. And you saw this link on their website, right? Um, if I go to uh, tinyurl.com, BCAT pedos, that was the redirect to the AIDS Human Rights Commission, where the document, after I blogged about it in 2015, they took, they replaced the document with an empty zero byte word file. You understand? Right, yeah. Take it down. <coughs> and just last week, they've just taken the actual um, page off. So if we go back to my mail, this is the document they've taken down from the website, the Victoria Human Rights Commission, to a search for leg. Okay. Here we go. In all the cases that last 11 you know, since they've had religious vilification laws, only Muslim and satanic child rape pedophile cops uh, have been ordered to respect that, be respected under religious vilification laws. And right, yeah. The, uh, the OCO first leg here, right? Okay. Go down again. They're saying, the cat found the website inside of the hatred, contempt, and revulsion to be ridiculed against the complaints on the grounds of their religious belief, i.e., following the teachings of Alistair Crowley who writes poems about solemnizing young children. And if, uh, so you must respect those who write poems about solemnizing young children or you'll go to jail. White stain. See, the, the, the book where he published his child sick poems. Did that um, ever get submitted into evidence, the actual evidence that that is what their religion's about? Um, what happened was, is another book he wrote, in Alistair Crowley, Magic and Deer and Practice, he said, preferably a young child of suitable intelligence must be killed and sacrificed for bloody murder for Baphomet. Baphomet X is the title Alistair Crowley gave himself, and he also called himself the Great Beast 666 and Satan's Chief of Staff. Um, he also coined the term um, Dilemma or Femalite, the people that the people who follow this religion call themselves Alistair Crowley. Uh, the OTO admit this on their Blazing Star channel where they claim to be Masons as well, but are uh, pretty Masons and they'll say they're a pretty good pedo cult. But um, anyway, um, so. Uh, it says here that they're bragging about sending tenants for nine months, okay, in this document. They've taken it down from their own website, okay? And this was an uh, unlawful uh, arrest. So if you want to see a really, if you just want to see a very well presented uh, uh, chat, please put a link to bit.me slash Mozzie's Love Pedos when you publish this video. Right, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, so Gary Burns is going to the High Court of Australia fighting and defending a satanic pedophile cult. And that, David, because your, because your listeners don't particularly like the uh, Jewish master race, um, I'm going to find some stuff here from. Well, now, at least he will get sued by David Bottrell for this, and I don't mean to hurt my allies, but trust me, David Bottrell's in so much shit right now. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this. Um, from David Bottrell. Now, they've been to the Supreme Court of the ACT, and David Bottrell brought in a witness called Douglas Essie. He publishes books from OTO Press with OTO members. And right. And the OTO members, Dr. Caroline Tunder Tully, who writes papers on how great Alistair Crowley is at University on the taxpayer's life. They make you know, uh, and uh, we expose her in the community of the so, you know, when she writes about the time. David Bottrell Solomon is her, so she so 
so you're going a bit quiet now. I'm oh, sorry about that. Okay, so, um, so, uh, that, that's not that one. That's just what did you say about triad? Uh, Master of the Triad is the highest level in the OTO because Alistair Crowley, its founder, was bisexual. He wanted to control the people that reached the highest level of the order. So, um, in order to get to the highest level of the order, uh, Alistair Crowley had to sodomize and mount their, um, mount their anuses in order to accreditate them um, as reaching the highest level of Master of Anus Sex, Master of the Triad in five. This is the religion you have to respect or go to jail. It's highest, to achieve the highest level of the order, you must be solidized by the leader in the area you're in. Seriously, I didn't yeah. realize. I didn't. Well, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but. Oh, it's from a clear email, obviously. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here's David, here's David Bottrell, okay? Now, David Bottrell has been asking for these posts to be taken down. And you see, David Bottrell is saying, examples of materials you must take down on your site because I beat you in the ACT Human Rights Commission because my expert witness who I claim independent, who is, is in a business relationship with the OTO, Dr. Uh, Douglas Hizzi, um, who, who said when Alistair Crowley writes about sodomizing young boys, you can't take them literally. That's hate speech. She doesn't commit to figure it. <laughs> uh, it's much crazy. Anyway, um, so... Is he's taking, once his content taken down, it's all about the Jewish Board of Deputies so it's shut upside down. It's got nothing to do with the OTO in it. Okay, it's but they're sort of transparently working together, aren't they? Well, no, they're not transparent. We've got them working together in this email. So, yeah, the, the, the Jewish Board of Deputies is working with the Jewish religion of child, gay child rape and boy murder. You know, that, you know that we've got a Jewish Board of Deputies in England as well. You know that, don't you? Yeah, yeah, but you know that the top, the, the top, the, the, the top, the top, only a special Jew can deal with the elite Jew, just like only a special a homosexual cop who does anal sex acts can do the bidding of a gay because all normal police are not good enough for the, for the elite gays and Jews. Well, you know that the top, the top guy in the British Board of Deputies, or was it the English Board of Deputies? I forget, right? right. He was, he was, he was, um, he's allegedly dead now. I don't think he's dead at all. I think it's made up. But yeah, he was up on, like, multiple counts of child rape, by the way. And they murdered, they murdered some, one of the witnesses. One of the witnesses got murdered. They, they actually said that the witness was a paedophile. One of these care workers who had a sterling record of working with children for, like, 30 years. Had lots of good references, said the guy's a pedo. So they got him sent to prison. Then when he was about to be a, he, going for his appeal the next day, yeah, he, um... He got he got found dead. Yeah, so here we are talking about Carl Morgan and uh, colonising children here, and David Bottle is going defend against that too. See? Got that quote from Carl Morgan. Where's the quote I put on John Morgan about Carl Morgan here? Carl Morgan. You can take it out. You're going too quiet. You're going too quiet now. Sorry, you can you can read. Uh, you can take us out now and read the quotes from the Carl Morgan. And it is also a, um, a Jew trying to refute this. And in refuting it, the Jew says that Talmud wrote the Holy Scripture that um, homosexuals must be stoned to death. That's that, 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 uh, Leviticus 20 from the, the, the uh, King James Bible, also copies the word for word. The Jews are saying, no, the Bible didn't say homosexuals should be stoned to death. We, are, we were originally founded the belief in our Holy what? Which one? Which one? Well, I've, I've always, I think most people who are watching this video know about that, don't they? Right. Yeah. 